Gideon Gideon. Now, that is a very peculiar naming tradition, if you ask me. My name is Ferti, and this is Crusader Kings 3. Back again with another playthrough in this game that we all love and cherish. So Gideon Gideon is basically a player heir and son, and someone really didn't have a lot of fantasy when they named him. Now, Ross David of Daimbia, or David Gideon. Now that is a name which really makes you feel respect for this man with his very funny hat and really nice clothes. And something that really gives you respect is the fact that he is actually you inside all of this. Which if you ask me is something of a suicide wish. <laughs> because if there's something that Crusader Kings 3 shows you is that being a different religion in an area where everyone else really hates your guts is not going to work out well for you. We are basically one of only two landed Jewish people on the entire map. And we even... Even the two different Jewish people have two different schools of Judaism, which makes things even funnier, if you ask me. But we're going to play this playthrough as David Gideon, and with the ultimate goal of making this decision here happening. Restore Israel, the kingdom of heaven, or whatever you want to call it. So we may basically need to take these places and make all these other things happen, and then we're going to restore Israel. Which, as I said, is not going to be an easy task at all. Because we are very isolated here in modern day Ethiopia. Which is, a, which is actually a very peculiar story because these U Jewish people actually live here in Ethiopia still today. They still call the Beta Israel community, as far as I know actually. And they have been living in what is today called Ethiopia for a very long time. They're one of the oldest U Jewish churches in the world, as far as I know actually. And they migrated. I think they said that they are basically one of the original tribes of Israel that migrated from Israel to Ethiopia a very long time ago. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's very, very interesting, actually, in my opinion. And they actually ruled what is called the Kingdom of Axum for a long time as well. So it's a big part of Eastern African history, which is made a part of history that we basically don't really learn enough about here in Europe, where I live. So we're going to play as this guy. It's not going to be an easy thing to do. If you ever try this start yourself, it's not an unfamous one. There's been people doing this even since Crusader Kings 2. You need to make sure a lot of things happen just the right way. Otherwise, you're going to get squashed by everyone around you. And hopefully, we will not get squashed. Because I generally do not like getting squashed. Especially not by heretics. <laughs> No, I'm actually a Christian myself. But in this case, we're actually going to roleplay as this guy. Or we're going to try to roleplay as David Gideon. So we are basically an Ethiopian Jew now. And in, and scheming one. An intricate web beaver. With a bit of a stubborn trait as well. I like that. He's actually looking decent. So that's going to be fun for us. So hopefully you're going to like this journey together with me. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on this campaign. Also like the video if you have enjoyed it so far, it does help me out as a content creator very much to make this video be seen for more people. But we're gonna get right into playing this game, which is a very fun one, and I haven't played it in a long time, which is gonna make this even more fun for me. Hopefully. It might go really badly for us, and then it's not gonna be fun at all. But who cares? We're gonna get right into it. And we're gonna start out by basically finding someone to... Huh. I would prefer just to get someone to marry first and foremost. She's actually really good. Where did she come from? She's wandering. That's really good. We're going to marry this woman. She's amazing. I love that. And we're also going to designate a guardian for our son. What is he? He's basically going for martial education. He's rowdy. I don't really know if I like that that very much. He has a natural prowess for intrigue with being sadistic. But he is rowdy. But it actually works out with intrigue as well as far as I know. It does. And we're gonna educate him myself because I am an intrigue character. Because being good at intrigue in this game generally works out well for you. But also what works out well for you is not being squashed by your leech because you have a different 
religion than they do. So I'm basically going to modify my contract and go for title revocation protected. I never remember if I'm going for the right one when it comes to these two, but I think this is the right one to not get killed by him. So I'm going to modify this contract just to make sure he can't revoke my title because I'm a heretic. I think the crown law might be too low at this moment in time for him to do that, but that's generally something that they change very early on in the game, the AI. So it's just a good thing that we try and change that as soon as possible. I was going to go for lifestyle inside intrigue. And I'm going to go for Skullduggery focus, I think. I would prefer if we had been schemers, because finding hooks on people is generally a very good thing to do, if you ask me. But we're gonna have to make do with what we have. Right. I think early on there's not a lot of things. We can have secondary spouses. Huh. I see, so we need to marry more people. We're gonna have a lot of babies. Who is the best one? Do I wanna marry my spy master? Preferably not, actually. It's worse for my stats. Uh, it might seem like I have to, because otherwise I'm gonna lose prestige. Right? Oh, it's actually piety, which is affected by it. Too few spouses. That's actually a big hit to my piety. I'm gonna marry one of these women, not the spy master if I have to, and hopefully that's gonna change things a bit at least. I'm gonna see uh, when things happen first before anything changes. We don't have a lot of money, we do have some soldiers. I wanna check how strong is my leech. Could I fight him if I had to? <laughs> I don't think so. I do think one thing goes in our favor though, if I can remember my map modes in this game, which I actually cannot. What is terrain? Control G. Right. We have mountains and hills where we live, which is a very good thing because we're going to be defending a lot. And I want to be defending inside these mountains and not get killed. We do also have two castles, which is a very good thing. No, actually, we actually have two counties, which makes things even better. I like that. Yeah, it's two counties. That's awesome. I really like that. And we are making a decent amount of money as well. So hopefully we can make that continue for us, hopefully. We're gonna actually get the game moving then. And hopefully we do not get killed as soon as things happen. And we are married, hopefully that can change the piety. We're actually not losing piety anymore, so that's a good thing. Okay, who could be court physician? My wife is act is actually a court physician, so that would be actually a very good thing. I'm gonna make her into that. These other things, I would have to pay money for them, so I would prefer not to have to actually appoint them so far, if I don't have to. If not being forced. Having my hand forced by things is generally not a thing I like, but what can you do? Who is that? Right. My council. Is there anything that I could change? One good thing actually about being Jewish, as far as I remember, is that there is actually a lot of Jewish characters out there in the world. Which could be a good thing for us, because we might be able... Pardon me. To invite them to our place, Judaism. If I wanted someone with high diplomacy, which is not my wife, she is also a woman, so that wouldn't make it possible for her to be my chancellor, but other people might be able to join us. Military people, for example. He's already a marshal. He probably wouldn't like to get here. No, he would not. One thing that might be good for us, actually, if we look at this, um, going for diplomacy and to be friends. We can befriend people and then try and invite them. Because later on, there's going to be a lot of Jewish character out there in the world, which have really no place to call their own. And we, if we were able to get them here, it would be actually very beneficial for us to have all of these really high-ranked Jewish characters inside our court, instead of being out in the world and wandering and being... 
not treated particularly well, I would think. But hopefully we can change that and make a big Jewish kingdom for all of our subjects. But for that to happen, we need to make time and move. Actually, gonna run time at kind of high speed because there's not gonna be a lot of things happening here in the beginning. And as I said, he actually passed the limited crown law, which means he can actually revoke titles. It's a good thing that we stopped him from doing so. But he might still try to force me to convert. And I don't really know if that's gonna be possible for him to actually declare war against us because if that happens, Things are not going to be fun for us. This county actually is, is Jewish. He is not Jewish, but this county is though. Two of them are actually Jewish. So if I were able to take them from him, that would be a very good thing. He's actually weaker than my leeches. But we wouldn't be able to beat him. And of course, we are actually inside the kingdom and we are beneath the prince of that kingdom. What we could try and do... What we could try and do is kill someone. Would that be worth it? We could kill this guy, the prince. Could we kill his, his father? No. But we could kill the prince if we wanted to. And I, I'm actually a spy master. That's, that's actually the reason why I'm able to kill him myself. If I kill him, the king would gain this and we would have a much stronger leech above us, which is actually not a good thing. But, 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 but. He doesn't really have any allies, does he? Hopefully he doesn't. He doesn't have any allies. He's not allied to his father. Or well, it's not his father, it's actually his brother. Would I like would I want to kill him? He's not particularly good. That's the thing. He's really bad at martial. And this guy's really good at martial. If we made him into the top leech of everything, he would be stronger and we would have a very strong leech, which is not a good thing for us. So I'm gonna stay on as the spine master and not do anything so far. What I could try and do though, which I'm actually going to do, is use my spy master. Is not pregnant and try and find some secrets on my leech which I could use for my own benefit. Don't really do anything right now and we're gonna make things happen. He is sharing power with this mayor because he was going away and he's not doing that anymore. That's good I guess. And now he's actually being a break. He's uncovered a secret by this mayor. I would be like being able to basically take money from people by using secrets. I would like not being raided anymore though if possible. So please go and kill him. We gained an intelligent daughter called Makta. Uh, Dina. There, there's not a lot of names inside the family. Her brother is called Gideon Gideon. What could we call her would, that would be fun? Gideona. Nej, Gideon. Gideona. Gideona. That seems, that seems nice. Gideona Gideon. <laughs> I, I have no fantasy whatsoever. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> right. Greeting Rastavit of Dembia, despite our best efforts, they haven't uncovered any secrets. Oh, go on for it. I want to find secrets. Man, my fertility is really high. High monad exaltation. Many have come to see Kohen Negazi has come to see Kohen Negazi has the embodiment of div divine serenity that only a few people can hope to achieve during their lifetime. An extremely disciplined man, Negasa, is a shining example of the triumph of reason over passion. How commendable. That's good for the fate, actually. That, that's a good thing. Really good thing. Find me a secret. Come on. I want secrets. I also want money. What's happening to my money? Oh. That's happening to my money. And that happened to my daughter because I'm being raided and my leech is doing nothing to help me. 
But I did get this sun. Mengesha. I don't think I like Mengesha. Levi Hanukkah. Isn't the Hanukkah like the celebration thing? Should, should I name my son after a celebration? Absolutely, Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the naming traditions are going to be terrible. Really, really terrible inside this family. Give us a few generations and things are going to be messed up. Blessed are the meek, okay? I was shocked when I caught my son Gideon trying to steal from the travel chest of the visiting Meyer Hakim. He gave me an impressive speech on how he now understood why he had done what, why what he had done was wrong. He could be humble. It's not a bad thing, actually. Deceitful is really good if you want to be good at intrigue, though. I don't want him to be honest. Being honest is really bad. Can I Can I please look at this thing? Why, why can't I? Come on, lock it. Lock it, I want to see. There we go. Study the art of scheming decision. Okay. Would I like him to be really good at the intrigue, or would I like him to be humble? Temple building construction cost. Opinion of elite, opinion of vassals, piety. I actually would like him to be deceitful. I'm gonna go for that one. I'm gonna make him into a good intrigue character. Hopefully. Keep on finding things. Have I done something with my fertility? Why am I so fertile? This is actually insane. Is she, is she lustful? Is she? No, she's not. Why are we making so many babies? That's insane. Yeah, I would like to get my daughter back if possible. I also would like to be not raided. They're probably gonna try and take my daughter again if they don't stop them. And I can unlock a new perk, that's good. As I said, I'm making babies. Babies everywhere. It's insane. It's like really insane. I don't even have this thing. Why am I gaining so so many babies? I don't understand. I really do not understand. Where is the one getting paid for hooks? It's a stewardship thing. Yeah, right, golden obligations. But this one is good. Being able to fabricate hooks on people is not a bad thing. I'm gonna fabricate, try and fabricate one on you. Absolutely. And hopefully that's gonna work out well for us. Hopefully. I think he has lost a lot of people. Macarius, who is Macarius? I could I'm not gonna pay for it. That's a lot of money. Tidbits from far away. Visiting the local market, a merchant from a faraway land catches my attention. Come closer, my lord. Marvel at treasures never before seen in these lands. Walked right past the gods responsible for these beauties. A true knower of people, that I am. This merchant might have more to give me than marvels from afar. You could learn how to read people. Or I could fail. He will tell me what he knows. We could have this threatened merchant. I'm not gonna pay for it. I am really not going to pay for it. It's not going to work out. He will tell me. A 30% chance and I gain it. That's actually insane. Kes. Tamar. Yehudit. Shana. Shava. Gisa. Root. Is that Jewish? Yale. Shana. Miriam. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Cradled by sickness, my all babies cry, but with little Miriam, there is no end to the tears. I desperately want the midwife to ease my worries, but her furrowed brow makes everything worse. Your daughter is not gaining weight as she should. We will take good care of her, my lord, but in the end, her life is in the lord's hand. Hush now, Miriam. Please don't cry. That's really bad. She might die. I don't like that. I am making a lot of babies, but I would not like them to die. Confused heritage. For days I have been obsessing over the Eddie. Who are the Eddie? 
Why do I even care about the Eddy? Is he Jewish? No. So why do I care? And now I am certain there is no way Gerard Arif can conclusively prove the father of his son and heir Hantale. Where there is lack of evidence, evidence can be planted. It is time for me to write a new truth for Hantale's origin. This could go really badly for us if we fail. I could reveal Hantale as my bastard. Why would I do so? I don't want another son. Yeah, I, I don't want the guy for myself. Okay. Or we could get Renown. I would like the intrigue points if possible. Islam Hantale would make an excellent father. Hopefully this works out. I think it did. Rumors have started circulating, just as I hoped. No one can say anything for certain, of course, but that is the point. My agents report that even Gerard Aref looks at Hantala with doubt in his eyes and Islan Hantala with distrust. I could expose it. I'm gonna sit on it. You can station a men at arms regiment. I should. You have men at arms that you have not stationed. By stationing a regiment, you can make them more powerful and better at fighting, which can be vital for winning battles. Okay. I think I might just station them where the best place for them to be stationed is. Of course, I understand. So I guess that makes them better. It seems like it does. Interesting. That is an easy way, of course, to increase my the size of my army if I wanted to. But it's a lot of money, though. We have pikemen. Why do we have pikemen? They're expensive. They're really expensive. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna pay for them. But is there anything that I could potentially potentially build? Which is gonna help us with the money, preferably. Money is the main thing, in my opinion. I do need levies as well, of course, but having money is not a bad thing. We already have the simple pastries. I'm also going to go for... I'm going to go for what? The hill farms, maybe. The thing with the hunting grounds is that it actually gives me le... But I do have simple pastures already. I'm going to go for the hill farms. Five years is a long time to build one thing. Is it because I have low control or something? No, it's not. Why is it taking so long? Can I make things happen quicker? Building construction time minus 17%. I'm not gaining a lot of extra money from this. But that's a lot of decreasement. So I'm actually gonna go for that one in Dumbia. You, my man, should probably increase control in county too, to my increase my tax income. So now, how long is this going to take? After I done that thing. Dikla after me. Absolutely, Dikla it is. Keep on finding secrets. I want secrets. Please give me secrets. Four years. We actually took away one year from the building. That's a good thing. If you see my face now, you see how shocked I am. This is insane. I feel like David is doing nothing else than having fun in the bedroom. That's the only thing that guy is doing. He's doing nothing else. <laughs> and I kind of realized me understand why. Having too many babies is not a good thing. It's not a bad thing generally, but it's not a good thing having too many babies. It generally makes the inheritance a bad thing for you. I guess there's a lot of daughters, so it's fine. Tamar, Leia, sure. Coaches, we only have a competition. We are trying to fabricate a hook. It's going to happen very soon. I am not going to pay for a grand tournament, which I cannot afford. Not even close to affording that thing. We are not even close. You are not particularly good. You do know that, right? And you don't like me for some reason. This guy is much better than you are. But he is actually one of my champions, but... He's much better theologian, and he actually likes me. Why do you not like me? 
because you're ambitious. I'm going to assign you this guy instead of Nagasi. And we cannot change this guy now, but who cares? He's much better and he likes me, which is good because he's going to be endorsing me now, which might mean I get some money, hopefully, potentially, maybe, sometime. Who knows? Hopefully we're going to get some money from that. He is really, really good at that thing. Man, he's good at martial. Yes, I, I'm going to swap, swap you around. I don't care. He's better at stewardship as well. I'm going to change you two. Yes, and then I'm going to change you two around. And that actually works out really good for us. That's awesome. Why didn't I look at that earlier on? That's stupid. I should have seen this before. So now we have basically better people in every position. That's awesome. And he endorses me. Do I get money from that? Maybe. Potentially. Gideon is an adult now. With his coming of age, my tuition of Gideon is at an end. Always a clever child. Gideon, Gideon, give it... Gideon, Gideon. I can't even speak it. It's so stupid. Proved time and time again over the course of his studies that he had a natural affinity for careful planning and more than a little misdirection. He now knows a lot of ways to get what he wants. Most importantly, he is highly aware of the political implication of those wants. He is an intricate web weaver just like his father. And now, we're gonna get him married to a beautiful, or actually pretty, woman. Who is not Jewish, but she actually wants to marry him. Her stats are terrible, but she's, she's pretty. And I like conjectural traits. I love them. So... Who cares about stats? She's beautiful. Right? I feel like I offended someone. Yeah, I know he can marry. I'm trying to make that happen. Thank you. So now my son is married. I am probably fabricating a hook very soon. How strong is this guy? Much stronger than I am. If I try to declare war with him, I can only declare an independence war. Can I declare war on neighbors? No. Or actually, I could if I had a Cass's belly. And he's actually not particularly strong. That is really good to know. Right, what I want to do, I, I want to fabricate the claim on this thing. Because it's actually Jewish. It's actually not Jewish anymore. This thing is. And I'm not going to fabricate the claim on this thing. It's too far away. Yeah. Right. We're gonna try and take things from our neighbors and make ourselves a bit stronger. He's already, as I said, fighting someone. He's attacking this guy. How he thinks that's gonna work out for him, I don't really know. But best of luck. Lose all of your men so I can go in and take your stuff. I can fabricate a hook. I'm gonna spend a lot of piety for some reason. Right, I know. Is there a reason for me to have a hook on him? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna have a hook on him. It's a weak hook. But it's a hook. Disrupt schemes, murder scheme, find secrets, progress, speed. I like the murder scheme power. I'm gonna go for that one. Right. I think something just happened. I just pushed it away. Who is Ashan? Oh, it's my it's my son's wife. I offer Ashan my sincere thanks as she stares angrily at me through a haze of alchemy. It was not easy to find someone to volunteer <laughs> to test my collection of substances. For her, it has been an evening of pain, burning sensations, and occasional unconsciousness. I don't think this is a good thing to do against the son of your, the wife of your son. I could kill her. Fifteen percent chance. She's pretty. I like the trait. But I do like the intrigue points too. I really do like the intrigue points. 
She's gonna hate me though. She wanna. She's gonna be wanting to kill me. Please don't die. Oh, she didn't die. <laughs> oh man. A dark knight can truly make the shadows in my castle's hallways come alive. The perceived risk for unsanctioned visitors rise ever higher for every unguarded corner spotted. If I alone can see this many faults, imagine what more people with a similar perspective could do. I am not gonna pay for it. I am really not gonna pay for it. That's a lot of money. Hakim, what are you doing? Yeah, you're supposed to make me friends, not enemies. And now my wife is a wise woman. Well, I guess that's a good thing. But he's supposed to be making me friends. Can I pay? Yes, I can. I get a claim on the chiefdom, which is the only thing I wanted. Fervent feaster. Many months have passed since the lords and ladies of the realm gathered for the feast, my Ross. Mayor Hakim amiably continues, it would benefit you not to mention those among us who appreciate a good feast if this was remedied soon. Within 10 years. Absolutely. 10 years I can make a feast happen, right? Ah, that's not good for us. Did he actually win this war against this guy or what happened he actually lost where did he gain all of these people from i really would like to know yes i would i don't have a lot of soldiers that's something to keep in mind i really do not this is gonna be finished kind of soon enough and my wife is pregnant again that's insanely, that's, that, that really is insane. And my daughter is no longer sickly. That's really good. How lucky we are to have a leech so gentle, so soft hearted and pure. The careless smirking face floats before me. We are blessed to live in a court where we can be free from fear. Behind the killer, my court laughs and cheers. These people do not fear me. They do not respect me. They do not know me. I will show them who I am. Wait, what? No. No. He will die in... I should probably not kill my commanders. I don't have a lot of them. Smile, laugh and plan your revenge. I feel like that's the better thing to go for. Although we were going to roleplay this. If you look at this, I'm ambitious, calm, and stubborn. I'm calm. I am not going to make a hasty thing. I'm going to smile, laugh, and plan my revenge. Absolutely. That seems like a decent thing to do. It never ends. We're going to have babies everywhere. There's so many babies. Everywhere. I, I, I've never seen this thing before. Heron. It's actually quick. I like that. Phineas. May you grow to be strong and wise, my quick little son. 100% a good thing. You, my man, I would like you to lose those people. Keep it up. Prince has declared war on Negus Sheba. Oh. The brother is dead. And now this guy is trying to take the entire thing. I don't know if this is a good thing. Although we do have a hook on him. Having a hook on the king would not be a bad thing per se, but... It's gonna make him stronger than us. A lot stronger than us being king. Hmm. It never stops. It never stops. I have I have too many kids. They're everywhere. Like how many kids do I have now? Nine and eight of them I did not have when we started. That really is insane. 
It's like the first time ever I seen a thing like this. I'm actually going to... I want this gold obligations one. Getting money for those hooks is going to be a very good way of earning money for us. Please. Please. Why am I the one being sieged? For... For real, why am I the one being sieged? I don't like this. Impeccable household, that's a good thing at least. And I'm making a lot of money, but I do not like the fact that they're sieging me down. If they capture people, I'm gonna be very unhappy. I'm gonna be incredibly unhappy if they capture someone of my family and I have to ransom them. Or worse yet, someone dies. Oh. Man. A nose for profit. While out on a leisurely stroll, the cry of a particular merchant stands out from the regular hustle and bustle of the street. Greetings, my lord! I have an exquisite assortment of wares, if my lord has the coin, of course. As I peer at the myriad of goods in the stall, I can hear Mayor Sisei murmur, The etchings on that piece must be real and quite valuable, too. He glances at me with a triumphant smile. Oh... Okay, I could strike a real bargain. I feel like this one is actually the best one. Hopefully it's a good, great deal. Ah, actually it was. That's awesome. As I said, I don't like when those things happen. My Cohen is dead, and my daughter-in-law is dead, and my son is in jail. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I love this. My life is so good right now. I do know I fired you, but can I replace you with someone else, please? Is there anyone else out in the world which I could replace you with? Please? Someone? No? And I, what, what, what happened to my, is my marshal dead? Did they kill my awesome marshal? I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I've never been so unhappy in my life. Kill, they killed my amazing marshal. Oh, why, why? No. Oh, Jesus. And I, that's even the wrong thing to say because I'm Jewish. Man, God, why? <laughs> Lord, help me. <laughs> Give me back my marshal. Give me back my daughter-in-law. She's pretty. I guess she's not that pretty being dead. <laughs> oh, Crusader Kings never change. Oh, my God. Oh, I, 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 man, I'm in shock. I'm shook. I'm really shook. And I have to ransom my son for 50 gold. Hopefully when this war ends, the thing's going to change. Hopefully. We are losing though. Can you please stop sieging me down? Why are you not sieging them down? You're actually fighting him, not me. Leave me alone. Give me my son back. Give me everyone back. Give me my daughter back. Actually, knowing Arabic is not a bad thing, but I would not want them to change their religion. That would make me very unhappy. Hanukkah. What are you? You're charming. Intrigue or diplomacy? Right. Having a diplomacy guy would actually not be a bad thing. Who should be his guardian, though? That's the question. Probably his mother. No. Do not convert anything. Leave that child's education alone, please. I want him alive. Someone is a non-believer. Awesome. I am getting to become a non-believer, too. I'm going to condemn this guy. Yeah, I'm going to condemn this guy. Uh, can you stop seizing me down? Leave me alone. Come on. 
What is wrong with you? What have I done? I was a nice little Jewish guy trying to make my, my way in the world. I guess they're learning how to speak Arabic. Which is not, I guess, I guess that's not a bad thing, but as long as they don't actually stop being the way they should be, meaning Jewish, we are going to be friends. Thank you, my man, for actually unseaching me. Now we need to get the control back, which is going to take a while. I would, as I said, also like to get my son back, if possible. We need to get Miriam and Dikla people as well. She is bossy. She is a woman, stewardship, meaning not particularly important to me. And not particularly important, when I say I'm not important, I'm not of course talking about her as a person, I'm talking about her as a person inside the game. I love women in real life, promise. Intrigue, diplomacy, go for diplomacy, right? And you should be by who? My wife. Have fun. And I really would like Gideon back, if you don't mind. And Phineas. Why is this thing not locking? I feel like there's something I should change. Golden obligations. Hopefully we can make some money now. No, we cannot because he doesn't have any money. Right. How will this thing go? I feel like we're not going to win this thing. And I cannot fabricate a hook on a kid. And I'm not going to be able to kill him either. Is there anyone I could fabricate a hook on? Just to basically steal money from him. He has money. I'm going to try and fabricate a hook on that guy and I'm going to get money for it. That seems like a really good idea, actually. Yes, I think so, because I need money. I need money to get levy so I can basically take this place from this guy. Who's that person? Oh, she's the wife of the guy. Does she have money? Can I, can I press this thing? Can I check her money? There we go. She doesn't have any money, so I don't, I don't, I don't care. Leave her alone. Is there a reason for the timing right now? Because I'm not going to do that. And I don't think you're in the position to do anything about it either. You're losing. Please don't siege me down again. Leave me alone. Oops. I think we're going to lose this now. I would prefer... I would prefer for this war to end as soon as possible, so I can not be besieged again, so I can actually save up some money. Oh, my wife is a non-believer. Who knew that my wife was a non-believer? Surprise, right? I am in shock about her being a non-believer. Really though, I'm actually not. Like, who? why wouldn't she be a non-believer? Please, she is the wrong religion. She is not Jewish. She is something else. So of course she should be a you instead, just like us. What do I want? That is the question. I do want more money. I also want levy. I'm gonna build this thing. Okay, we lost the war. Can I now gain my son back? Please? Chancellor. Okay. No. I would like to be your spy master, if you don't mind. I also would like to get my son back. I could send in the entertainers and get the weak hook. No, I should think more carefully about this. I should probably stop this thing. It's not going to work out well for us. I really don't think so. We have a new leech. This... He is the spy master. He's really bad though. Can I be his spy master? Can I get my son back? Do I really have to ransom? Do I really have to ransom my own son like that? 
if I actually got my claim, I can actually beat this guy if I had that claim on him. If I had a lot of prestige, I could claim that thing. What happened to you? She is the stewardship person. Right. There's a lot of things happening in this campaign right now, but I'm actually going to take a break here, guys. Because <laughs> I need a break from all of the shenanigans happening. <laughs> Things are crazy. Losing that marshal, th that wasn't particularly nice. I, it makes me really unhappy. But And hopefully I can get my son back. Someday. They will not accept. Pretty please? He needs a new spouse. He's unmarried. Give him back, please. Give my daughter back, please. And my son is actually still here. But still, give my son back. But now I'm going to take a break, guys. Make sure to like this video if you have enjoyed. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And leave a comment down below if there's something that you want to talk about. For example, just how messed up this campaign is. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.